the United States is increasing its pressure on North Korea, and launched a large-scale military drill in waters east of the Korean Peninsula on October 18. The USS Ronald Reagan, the U.S. Navy's biggest warship in the region with a crew of 5,000 sailors, launched nearly 90 F-18 Super Hornet sorties from its deck during the war drills. The dangerous and aggressive behavior by North Korea concerns everybody in the world, Rear Admiral Mark Dalton commander of the Reagan strike group, told Reuters in the carrier's hangar as war planes taxied on the flight deck above. We have made it clear with this exercise, and many others, that we are ready to defend the Republic of Korea, he said. In total 40 warships were deployed as part of the joint drills by the United States and South Korea. The drills come just a week after the United States flew two B-1B bombers, accompanied by Japanese and South Korean fighter jets over international waters in the Korean Peninsula. President Donald Trump has taken a twofold approach to North Korea. He has instructed his Secretary of State and other cabinet officials to put diplomatic and economic pressure on North Korea in an attempt to get the regime to denuclearize. Simultaneously, Trump has instructed his senior military leaders to draw up detailed military options against North Korea in case it's needed. To put pressure on North Korea. Trump has criticized previous administrations for not having taken care of the North Korean nuclear threat. North Korea broke a deal it made with the Clinton administration in 1994, when its nuclear program was still in the early stages. Now, military and intelligence experts believe North Korea is close to completing a miniaturized nuclear weapon that can be delivered using a ballistic missile. While some technical problems remain for North Korea, they believe it's just a matter of time before those are resolved. The Reagan's presence in the region comes ahead of President Donald Trump's first official visit to Asia, set to start in Japan on November 5, with South Korea to follow. North Korea responded to the military drills by threatening South Korea with nuclear war and imminent catastrophic disaster. Share tweet, share email.